Virginia Tech kind of gazing up into the crowd. Man, can it get loud here. And it's always a lot of fun. Louisville against Virginia Tech. We are underway. Great respect amongst two of the best coaches in the country. Fresh Kimball gives it up for Warren. Looking more assertive, and that one's going to rattle in for two. Here's McMahon again. Entry pass, batted away. It's been sloppy, too. Now you got a little bit of fatigue. You're usually playing four-minute segments. You're bleeding into almost six minutes of going here. It's time some of these guys will play on this floor. You want to change the world with every play. Simplify it. Play within yourself. Sutton. Yes, the three-pointer. Defensively dodges a bullet, goes to help on the drive, and abandons Wara, who has his feet set to deliver that one. Can't give him looks like that. Cone swishes that one. It's Jalen Cone, who shoots 51% from beyond the arc. Wara really hunting that shot, and he drops that one in. That's tough to stop when he wants it. He's ready to compete, but Louisville has an ace in the chamber, Jordan Wara. In that loss, he was 4 for 14. Leonard Hamilton's team does that to a lot of people. Here's Horn to launch. Got that. And if they get that rolling, look out. Johnson is playing very, very well. Williamson with a pull up pot. Nicely done. So with that tiebreaker, that's how that goes. They would be co champs. Nolly slamming on the brakes. Got it inside for two. And the crowd once again exhorting the Cardinals who have fallen behind 12 9. This is the knock I've had on this Louisville team. The shots aren't falling from distance. That one does from Wara. He beat a good Virginia team. They've been kind of a difficult team to reach. Shot clock to seven. Couture into the paint will bank that in. It's a big time move for Couture. Johnson, a talented freshman. Wara pounding the deck there. Boy, it's a pretty shot. He's a couple probing dribbles in there that hands off. War finishes the deal by driving it himself. Great possession for the Cardinals. He's got nine points. Aline, yes, that's a sweet shot from three-point land. Here's Radford. Another one from long distance by Aline, and he'll bury the three. Coach Padgett comes in, now Coach Mack. These guys never wavered, stayed here because of belief in the program and wanting to put on this jersey. You're always going to get a great crowd. They are into it. They're incredibly supportive. It's as much fun as any place in America. Smart, high IQ basketball yes. fans. Some of the best fans. I wonder if it was the ankle as much as just the sheer force of Isaiah Wilkins at 6'4", 225. Sure. The man sets the feet. Well, he can hit that all day. That's called a two-pointer. That dream came true. Couture drops that. Boy, that was in and then out of the cylinder. Dribble drive down the lane. And a committed play by Fresh Kimball. The trigger a break here for Aline, who's really played well in the first half. Gives that one away, but he has nine points. Laura over the top, slammed in by Sammy Williamson. Live ball turnovers like this, you're not used to seeing with the Hokies. Average 10 turnovers per game. They're almost going to meet that in the first half. Since then, they have lost eight out of nine games, and that youth has really shown up, as you mentioned. Horn pressured, but knocked it down anyway. Under 90 seconds before halftime here at Louisville. Leaner inside. That's a tough shot. Nolly got it to go, and he'll be at the line in the first half. Here's Wara trying to use that body. And he used the iron with a nice touch. And there's Nolly, who's really shut down in the first 20. Radford. That'll rattle in. And you were talking about him in their workout today that. Katie with more on Tyrese Radford. Well, Lisa Beanie oh, says Radford has a great understanding oh, of his strength. You guys. In two of the last four games, opponents have locked him up. Seven points against Pitt, three at Duke. Corner jumper on the way, and that is nothing but net by a lead. Early minutes of the second half, 32-29 Virginia Tech. McMahon floats it up there for two. Can't hit on that one. Ogiaco corrals the rebound. Bumping bodies there with Enoch. Radford. Yes! He'll drill it. Clock down to six. Wara fires off the side of the backboard. Rebounded by Sutton in heavy traffic and a foul as well. Enoch. 
Here's Johnson. Back for Warrell with a look. Got him. And a three-pointer. All net. Denied defense by Couture. And now slapped away from behind by Sutton. They exchange turnovers. Johnson tiptoeing. Throwing made the shot. Johnson almost gave it away. McMahon with a three. He's need a basket. 11.40 to play. Radford. Nolly. Yes, he hits that one. Wara already with a double-double into the lane and hits that. He'll head to the line. And he, he's earned the right for what he's been to this program. And when you're the best player for Louisville, criticism will come. You also be celebrated with the wins, and he's taken it all with great class. He's gone out there, kept his head down, and played basketball. 51% beyond the three-point line. As you said during the commercial break, that's where they're going to have to be at that three-point line. Johnson with a backdoor and lay it in. Of taking care of the basketball statistic of any in the conference, only turning it over 9.6 times per game. Uh, Warren continues to have a really, really fine night. That's where you want Warren to be selfish. Take that thing all the way to the cup with how he controls his body. Turn the whistle. Speedy, that's a nifty drive, and he lays it in. Score 11 points in the first half versus that Cavaliers defense. 42 in the second, really figure it out. Guarded well and everything. Keegan Clark hits a three to beat you. A lot of turnovers for the Hokies tonight. That's certainly out of character. 13 of them, in fact. Entry pass here for Enoch. Right where he wants to work. Doing it with their defensive effort to fuel their offense and build this lead. Cone. Yes. He drills the triple. Rubbing his thigh on left thigh on the bench and not an ankle, but that's as far as I'll speculate. Cone hits the shot and foul on the play. Five to shoot. Pounding it in there. The left hand, no. Sutton, the dribble down, and that'll roll in. Enoch again. Drawing a lot of attention. And the tip in. Great play by David Johnson getting high up there. Said I hate that more than anything. And it's not applying undue pressure to the kids, but I want clean games. There's a slam by Johnson. And now the Cardinals really putting this thing on ice. It was a tight one in the first half. Louisville gradually pulled away. And with a couple of long runs. Swished in by Jalen Cohn. He's fun to watch shoot the basketball. Crowd urging the substitutes to get a shot in the air. Johnson will kick it back out for the corner jumper, and yes! Nidono hitting that one. And lighting up the crowd here at the very end of the game. And look at the bench coming over to celebrate with him.